people recipe. So a few weeks ago, IKEA decided to give out their recipe as part of um, what's going on in the world at the moment um, and getting IKEA meatballs into everyone's home without them being able to visit restaurants. And I wanted to make them for two reasons. One, because I wanted to see how close they would be to the actual IKEA meatballs that you get in their restaurants. And two, how cheap they were to make. And I have to say they were pretty close and they were actually really cheap to make that they only cost for an entire um, four serving meal the same as one serving in one of their restaurants, which is amazing. And they were really quick as well. Um, that were really easy. So with that in mind, let's get started. I'm going to show you how I made them and I hope you enjoy. All right, in our large bowl, we're going to add our minced beef, our minced pork, our grated onion, our crushed garlic. We've got our egg that we're just going to put straight in there whole. I've seen some recipes where you're supposed to mix the egg and the milk. Don't see the point of that, just throw everything into a bowl. We've just added in our breadcrumbs and lastly our milk and then we're going to top it all off with our salt and pepper. And that's really it. It's a really simple recipe but it tastes delicious. Um, so give it a try at home. It's really close to what you'd get at Ikea. We're then going to get our hands. We're going to put them in there. Make sure they're clean and washed before you go ahead and put them into your food. And once that is all um, kneaded together, you don't have to do it for very long. Um, we're going to go ahead and portion them up. Now, the mistake that I made was using this scoop. I made them too big. They were great. They were delicious. They were really moist, but they were a bit bigger than what you would get at Ikea. So I would make them half this size. Once we've got them all portioned, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put them onto our plates, cover them in plastic wrap and stick those into the fridge until for about an hour. Um, then. We're going to get our nonstick pan. We're going to heat up a little bit of oil and we are going to fry them until they are browned on the outside. They don't need to be cooked through because we're going to put them in the oven. So once they're browned on the outside, do them in batches. Um, you don't really need to do them. You'll overcrowd the pan if you try and do them all together and you want that nice brown crispy outside. Throw them in the oven for about 30 minutes um, and that'll cook them all the way through. And while you're doing that, you can get started with what's gonna be on the side. So in this case, we're making our gravy. We went ahead and melted some butter. To that, we're gonna add our flour. And we're gonna get that all nice and mixed. And we're gonna allow that to cook like cook out the flour for about a minute. To that we're going to add our chicken stock, we're going to add our beef stock and we're going to mix that all around before we go and put in our cream. There we go, we're going to add in our cream and then we're going to add in the secret ingredient which is soy sauce and Dijon mustard or secret ingredients. We're going to get that all nice and mixed and there we go, we have IKEA meatballs. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you decide to try this recipe for yourself, please leave us a comment down in the comments box and tell us how you liked it too. The only thing that I would do differently, like I said in the video, is I would make those meatballs a little bit smaller the next time I make this recipe, but other than that, it was absolutely delicious. And we are going to enjoy it again and again. Thank you so much for watching it again, and I'll see you next time on the next episode. Bye.